I think we're good. And all it's costing us is a fortune in ammo. Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3, ladies and gentlemen. We're here in Tacoma Park. Or rather, we, we went through a subway to a place called Tacoma Park, I'm assuming this is it. Where we've killed some mutants, looted the stores, and had a good night's sleep. We're here because we want to go to a place called, what's it called? Fort Lewis. Which should be just down the road from here. I think. It's like, I, I'm assuming it's over by the... If memory serves, there's going to be a big location full of Talon Company. And Talon Company fighting students, and I think it's gonna be over that way. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm that's what I'm remembering. In fact, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to have seen the Talon Company by now already. Already. So let's grab our hunting rifle out and see see what we can pick off, shall we? There may be hostels in the area. Good to know. She maybe she's played the game before too, you know. Okay, we got the good ammo and the rifle. Got a nice big building in here. Did I just hear a gunshot? Of course, could have sworn I heard a gunshot. And also, I'm getting some terrible frame rate. What is going on here? Let's see. Talent Company. Somebody just got owned. Good for him. Mutants. Actually, tell you what. Let's get out the um, the M14 because that one's silenced. You can go down. So can you. And I could have sworn I saw a third mutant. Did he go down? No one's shooting someone, so I think we're good. And you go down too. Was there someone over there? I don't see anyone. Okay, I think we're good. And remember, remember Charlie, you are not Chadwick. You do not have the cushion perk. You should not go jumping off cliffs just cause, just cause that idiot lunatic can can do the same thing. Up. Ah, there you are. Can I get through there? No, apparently not. Dret. We may have to do something drastic then. Oh, uh, there you are. Coming. That felt almost like a crash. Tacoma Industrial Park. Welcome, welcome, friends. Anyone else? I think we're good to start looting. And our map marker is saying that Fort Lewis is somewhere over that way. We'll have to go check that out. After we loot. Oh. Okay, that leaves us with two paths we can go now. We can either head inside the factory or check the outer yard. I think the outer yard is a better idea. It just seems like you you want to make sure that there's no people bothering you before you go inside somewhere. So, they can, so that nobody can just come in from behind and utterly, utterly wreck you, if that makes sense. That would be a behemoth. You can tell because he's got the fire hydrant. Let's see, Tacoma Park Artillery Note, what's that say? It says, Artillery Order Number 447, Talent Company Support Team Bravo, Location, Tacoma Park. Establish position near the parking lot west of the factory and monitor enemy movement. Three squads will be dis dispatched once to our position. Their objective is to retake our old position in Tacoma Park. Your objective is to provide artillery support when they arrive. The coordinates have been encoded on the script provided. Call on the strikes once Alpha, Alpha, Alpha Squad established a base of fire outside the blast range. Outside a blast range, you say? I'm all for blast ranges. So long as it's not me. Yeah, that's a good blast range. I like this blast range. Look at those cars go up. <laughs> Let's quickly keep shelling them while we loot the boxes.
Oh, that feels so good. Ah, oh, but the mutants, the mutants, it's not landing on the mutants. Come on, do, do your job, you bloody bombs. Caution is advised. There we go, see, that's better. Okay, who all is still standing over there? We have tons of fire, tons of smoke, and you, sir. You survived, congratulations! You survived a, a sneak attack headshot. Congratulations. Oh, and I bet that's Fort Lewis over there. Come on, get, behind, get up from behind the sign. And one for you. And let's get out the big gun for the big guy. Hello, sir. How are you doing today? You, have you and Eugene met yet? I don't think you have. Whoa, my frame rate is dying. Down you go. Oh, you had a friend I missed. Sorry about that. So what all do you have on you? You have a ton of crap. Baby mole rat teeth. Why would I ever want that? You know what time that means now. Time for more looting. Oh, nope. Who's shooting who? Cross, who are you shooting at? Uh, somebody dead, I see, but uh, who were they before he killed them? Ah, what one of the talent company mercs made it out. Good for him. <laughs> Good for him. You know, I really wish there was a version of Eve that didn't include the new fire the new fire effects. Because they look very pretty. But they're really taxing on my GPU is like my GP I I have a 1070 and it's, it still kinda chokes on saying, oh my gosh, look at all these flames, what are you doing? Now then before we get to Fort Lewis, we have a gas station to go check out. Can we get in through this door? Yes, garage door to auto shop. What all do we have in here? I'm not <coughs> seeing much of anything. Um. Yeah, it's it, it's it's a garage shop. Oh, a scout handbook. Hello. What's my survival at any anyway? <coughs> survival is currently at one hundred. So that scout handbook does me exactly jack diddly good. Okay then, Fort Lewis, what do we want to use in here? Let's dig out our weapons for our weapons array. We have tons of shotguns and light machine guns we need to use. And we have tons of 5.56 ammo, so sure, why not? Let's get the big guns out. Oops, wrong key. I mean, it's not Eugene, but it'll get the job done, you know? Okay. Fort Lewis. Hello. No, Tacoma Car Tunnel. Okay, that's that's kind of weird. Not, not what I was expecting. Oh, it is very blue in here. What the crap is this? Stay away from the glitching physics object. Yes, go in here so that the car can crush me, I'm sure. Call me call me an idiot, but I'm an idiot with a quick save button. Okay, I'm here, what now? Nothing seems to be happening. Oh, it's Oh, okay, there's a ladder, okay. And that means it's time for a purge soap over because these things are taking way too long to open. Wait, shader effect has been removed from Feral Ghoul Reaver. Oh boy. What's going on up there? Do we have any hollow point? No, we don't we don't have any ammo but the base stuff. Okay. 
Ah, this then is Fort Lewis. We might be facing ghouls, so we have a flamer, which isn't very good. Only only 15 DPS. We do have a heavy incinerator, though, which is much better. We will try this out. All right. Oh, you can feel the frame rate chugging. Yeah, we have ghouls. Oh no, we we do not have ghouls. We do not have ghouls. We have, in fact, baby death claws. An actual death claws. Quick, it's hammer time. How are there death claws inside here? What is this? Oh, holy crap. Holy crap, that, 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 that hurt. Get them down, get them down. <clears throat> I can't see a bloody thing in here. Just count on the hammer of knocking them down. Oh, we got somebody down there. Big bastard, didn't he? Okay. Who else is in here? Where are you? Ooh, level up. We won't level up until we find whoever's left, though. I'm not seeing anyone. Or hearing combat music. But we haven't leveled up yet. Oh, there's the enemy. Oh, holy crap, you're a Deathclaw Matriarch. Hit you in the face, hit you in the face, hit the face with a great with a great big hammer. Who else is left? Like normally you have a named enemy. Oh boy. Hello everyone. Oh holy crap, run! Oh, wrong way, wrong way. Very much the wrong way. Uh, mines. That's the answer. Nope. Put down the mine. Oh. I was about to say, can you knock it through there? I'm okay with that. Oh, Rosebud. Oh, no. Oh, no. That? That was a one shot. Okay. I think we're good to level up now. Maybe. No, we need to go through. Oh, make me a liar, won't you, game? 100 melee weapons. Yes, please. And then we'll move our explosives up. Sure, why not? What can we get for our melee weapons? Special. All. all eh. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend two perks on making me have ten stats. I mean, it's just. It's not fun. On the other hand, carrying fifty extra weight is one of those boring but awesome things, you know. Yep. Burden to bear. Chasm is saving. Excellent. Now then, let's try this one more time with something explosive. Uh, or at least that does area damage. We don't have any missile launchers, unfortunately, but we do have that heavy incinerator. We'll just let it do its work, shall we? Because we can go through here. We can go through the back. And where was that door? Wow, this is doing absolutely jack diddly. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Thanks, Pal and Cross. And that'll be Rosebud. 
Oh, that's that's my main hero. Here's a plan, everyone. They can't get through that door. We're gonna be a little bitch. We're just gonna say, yeah, have fun with that. Also have fun with the absolutely low frame rate. Because apparently now my game is, is saying, oh my gosh, you're putting fire on everything at once. What are you doing, you mad, you mad genius? Oh, they got through the door. Is that a game crash? I'm pretty sure that's a game crash. This is admittedly one of the... Oh, a bottle for a great one. Thank you. That was fun. <coughs> Paladin Cross, you're alive. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, we have some friends still. That is admittedly one of the problems with the Fallout 3 engine and the New Vegas engine is that, oh boy, here comes Eve's disintegration stuff. The problem is that the, the 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 game Bryo Engine? Let's call it what it is. Really chokes on having lots of enemies enemies at the same time, and so having it all come, having like a dozen people all coming in at the same time, is uh, how many how many Deathclaw matriarchs are there here? I'm counting at least five, uh, six, seven, seven Deathclaw matriarchs plus Rosebud. All right. We wasted nearly all of our ammo. We, you know, we had 2,000 JHP, JHP ammo for, for Eugene when we started out. Caution is we advised. have less than a magazine left. And this is, this is, this is the armory. Excellent, excellent. This would be where we have the reward box, yes. A Gatling laser, a minigun. Thank you very much. I think that's all of our... I think that's most of the places taken care of that we need to go. Like, let's check the map. Let's check the map real quick. Yeah, the only place left is, um... Festinger's Chasm... And Zeus's vault himself. Oh, we're gonna have we're we're getting we're getting pretty close. Do you feel it? This is the part where you try and say, "Oh, I feel it." <laughs> All right, let's get looting. Oh, holy crap! These are bombs. Back away slowly. Quick save, and then see if I'm being dumb. For signs of trouble. I'm shooting nukes. I think we're past the, si past the signs of trouble. Oh, 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 okay, I see. They just stole the stole the acid for the bomb in Megaton. And it has the same act activator. It just doesn't have anything attached to the activator. Okay, that makes slightly more sense. Do you hear music somewhere? Is there a radio up there? Well, I think we've just about finished looting. We got a crap ton of ammo out, out of that armory. But that's about it. And we're out of ammo for our, for our main minigun. So we're going to have to replace that, I think, with one of our light machine guns. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll just tag that one right there. Okay, then. 
I'm pretty sure the only way back from here is to just follow it the same way we came, you know. Down the manhole. Through the tunnel. And then back along the winding path through all the industrial accidents and, you know, the, all the shops and through the subway. And eventually we'll come out in Inverted Square so we can come out through somewhere else. But before we go anywhere else, I want to check out the back of this place. Because I remember there being a, a ghoul researcher or something like that back here. And, you know, more mutants, which is always fun to kill. Oh. Have these guys really respawned that quickly? How? I was in there for like for like 15 minutes. You could not have arrived here in, in that much time. Huh. Talent company is back. Okay, make me a liar, I guess. Eat hot lead, you commie bastard. It's a robot. It's not a commie. If anything, they're very capitalists. Eh. What is AIM? Something I don't have, apparently. Whoa, something just blew up. Screw it. You don't need AIM if you have too many bullets. Okay, come back. I know you're running away. We'll get you, we'll get you eventually. Come here. Okay, that could have been bad. We actually got to low health. Well done, sir. Right, right. We need to check out the building and check out the behind the building. You also need to do some ma some maintenance because we're getting very full up. What am I stuck on? Let's check the oh we missed a talent company guy out here. Okay, we'll take your armor and fix up the other <coughs> stuff. All right. Okay, we're pretty close to full up. We're at set we have another hundred pounds of carry capacity. Well, there's tons of scrap in here, and probably some mutants if I, if I know my areas. Did I call it, or did I call it? We'll take whatever you have, and we'll take your AS Val, is that what it is? Did I recognize that? No, 9891. And you know what? We'll take the Abraxio Cleaner, because we still need to make get those for our Nuka Grenades. You're on point. I shall back you up. Ooh, hello. Meeting people. That could actually be useful, because my, my speech is deliberately low right now. So is this like a, a new, a, a, an Abraxio Cleaner factory? Is that the lore of this place? That would make sense, because there's there's a bunch of it all over the place. Either they made a cleaner or they were obsessed with it. Oh, hi there. What am I doing? These are mutants. No need to no need to waste bullets on them. We have a hammer. We'll take all your stuff. Knock you down. And you know, it occurs to me that we still have to get that second expand, that second uh, 4D carry device from what's his face, from from all only. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Okay, good job, us. Up, someone's still here. Let's leave the place up here because you know we're not gonna we're gonna leave, not gonna leave it. Okay, where's our mutant buddy? Take your stuff too, because that's some armor we can fix up, and we have no carry capacity. Okay, fix up Eugene, and then 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 move then move on. 
Okay, on we go. <clears throat> you got a nice big gun, don't ya? Yep, yeah, that is an HK cause, a nice big shotgun. Okay, I think we're good. To Tacoma Park, yeah, this is the cross bridge to absolutely nowhere. Okay, that that's disappointing. Down we go again, I guess. Now that we've done that, let's head out the back, shall we? See what we find there. Is that a quantum up there? Yeah, it totally is. How can I get there? Stairs up, stairs across. Okay. Let's go grab us some soda. Can't believe I almost missed a quantum. Thank you for your very helpful shiny blue glow. Oh, and, and some water too. Thank you. Yeah, this is definitely an, an Abraxo factory. Uh, Mr. 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 Sar Colonel Guts or Sergeant Gutsy, you're close enough to a handy that I bet you'd appreciate carrying this crap, right? Guess what you're gonna do. Okay, that gives us a decent carrying weight. Thank you, R03. Now let's just just find our way around the back real quick. As I recall, there was a ladder of some sorts. I might, I might be thinking of somewhere else, but I remember there being, like, uh, am I thinking of somewhere else? Is there a doorway you need to go through to get there? I am not entirely sure. It's been a while since I've, it's been a while since I've since I visited this area in in, in any playthrough. Okay, here's the door. W was that just to the crossbridge, though? Nope, you had more Abraxo up here, so we haven't and we haven't looted, so <coughs> we haven't been here. Yeah, here we are. That's what I was looking for. Let's get up here and then, um, oh, or, or, and I realize this is a radical idea. We could take the stairs. Up, oh, we have mutants. Down you go. Holy crap, what just blew up? Ah, the M14 is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Let's go grab our loot. Oh. I walked right past the loot. What just blew up? Oh, the truck that was back there. Okay. For whatever reason, it just takes so long to open these things in, in, in Tales of Wastelands. For it's part of the reason why I liked the Fallout 4 quick loot is because I didn't have to worry about that. I could just say, yeah, open up, open up, open up, up, and we're, and we're done. Now then, did you have anything interesting on you? Uh, a recharger rifle. You know, if I ever want to use one of those, I'll let you know. And you didn't have to open open up box after box just to see. Oh hey, this thing doesn't have anything I want. Can we cook something here? Uh, steamed mylark. Ah, uh, that's. We'll take the gecko steak, I guess. Okay then. We can't go that way. We can go this way, I think. I'm. I'm confused. Holy! That's. That's fun. That's a game crash. You know, that's five crashes in uh, in one session. I think it's time for us to think about maybe uh, reinstalling New Vegas and just letting it uh, 
going through all our mods, saying which things are causing Hiding instability and getting rid of them. Hiding is futile, you know. No, no, cross. The, the saying is resistance is futile. That's what's that's what's futile. Part of me is saying there's something back there. You know it's back there. Go find it. I'm, I'm gonna listen to my brain right now. Up. Oh, don't want to get stuck. Don't get stuck. Jump off into the water and then through here maybe or maybe not come on up you go no I think there's an invisible wall there oh but we might be able to get up here yeah that's how you're supposed to do it back here I recall there being a research station yeah, that's the place. It's really out of the way, but it's still fun. Oh, crap. Reaver, Reaver, Reaver. Kill them all. Have I mentioned how stupidly, how stupidly tanky the Reavers are before? Because they are. Okay, let's check this out. We got a rad suit. We got um, some ammo, some rad away. Thank you very much, game, and some supplies. Now then, what was back here? Isabella Proud's terminal. And now I've got the Proud family thing running through my head. Day forty-five. Jason found a terminal suitable to our needs in the nearby ruins. With some work, we may be able to move this workstation closer to where our research has been taking place. Must keep an eye out for a portable source of power. Must remember to translate my notes onto this thing when I have some time to do so. While Jason was scavenging the ruins, I caught a glimpse of the group by the pool in the afternoon. Contrary to what most people think, they don't fear the daylight at all. But they do seem to prefer indoor habitats. I conducted an informal experiment this week. I filled some heavy basins with water, each with different levels of radiation. Consistent with my predictions, they seem to prefer water with high rad content. Sink those radiation suits, I was able to irradiate one of the basins with a typically lethal level of radiation, and to my amazement, this has worked better than, our, than any of our attempts at constructing a lure to attract them into our research area. This is very exciting. Yada yada yada. Skip down a few. No sign of the group for days. Could Melinda have returned to the group with some news of our brief encounter? Perhaps they're scared of us? Jason beginning to get concerned, but I, I, I believe we're close enough to learning what we came here for. Poor man's been through hell for me, so I don't know if I could choose so much without him, but there's so much left to learn. I insisted on speeding at the research site last night, much to Jason's protests. I'm sure I saw motion in the, far, in the far ruins, but the moon had slipped behind a cloud, so I couldn't make out for certain their shapes. I don't think mutants could have moved like that, but most people in the city were know enough to hunker down at night. Could have been our group, returning home. Slept outdoors again last night, Jason insisted on staying with me this time, and built a camouflage screen for us to sleep in. I raided the main body water as heavily as I could to try and draw them out. My plan seems to have worked, because I saw a few, I think Melinda was among them, coming to the open at dusk and settled into the water. After dark, one, I believe to be the alpha male, I've called him Samuel, Emerge with the rest of the group. I had to switch my Geiger counter off when he arrived to avoid being heard. I can't imagine the radiation levels the glowing ones must be infused with. I think that must be why he's the Alpha. The others are so drawn to him because, he, because of his immense irradiation. And she dies for her research, yeah. Is Isabella Proud over here? Like, do we see her? Yep. Yes, yes we do. You know, I've never actually noticed her before. Like, I, I've always gone up here and said, oh, hey, Radaway and Radex and, you know, all those fun things. And, and you know, the Simpax and Medex and, si and Surgical Tubings. I never actually thought to go... <gasps> holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. <sighs> oh. <coughs> oh, my heart. I was not expecting that. Holy crap. What rad level are we at right now? 560. Oh my gosh. 
Sorry if I uh, uh, burst your ear from that. I, 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 I'm sorry about that. I was not expecting that. Okay. Breathe. <laughs> Oh gosh. I don't want to set the world on fire. 